Greetings, tech aficionados. Big Papa Code here, diving into another exhilarating episode from the annals of the algorithmic universe. Today, we set sail into the enigmatic waters of SHA, or secure hashing algorithms. Fasten your seatbelts, dear learners. Today's voyage promises to be packed with algorithms, encrypted tales, and treasured data. Now, imagine possessing a grand library, a collection so vast and precious that it holds the secrets of the universe. Your data, my friends, is just that, but every library needs its guardian, its protector. Enter SHA, the steadfast guardian of the digital realm. You might have heard whispers about SHA-1, an elder guardian who, while legendary, has now aged and grown a tad weary. But fear not, for from its lineage has emerged SHA-256, an even more robust protector. It's like the evolution from a valiant knight to an unstoppable superhero in the digital epoch. In the expansive kingdom of algorithms, there's a multitude of guardians, each with its unique strength. However, SHA, particularly the likes of SHA-256, is the jewel in the crown. Donning SHA-256 is like equipping oneself with a shield that has been forged in the heart of a star, offering unparalleled protection against digital marauders. Delve with me deeper. Every keystroke of a password, every secret whispered to a portal, undergoes a metamorphosis, courtesy of Shaw. With the finesse of a master artist, Shaw sketches a cryptic pattern, ensuring that even if a digital intruder lays eyes upon it, the sanctity of the original secret remains untouched. And what about our digital messages sent across the vast interweb? Imagine them as scrolls dispatched across vast kingdoms. With the mark of Shaw, especially the steadfast SHA-256. You can rest assured your scroll reaches its destination, pristine and untouched by mischievous spirits. Then there's the art of file integrity validation. Think of it as a trusted sage verifying the authenticity of ancient texts. If you obtain a digital manuscript or file for our modern thinkers, SHA acts as the discerning eye, ensuring it remains unblemished and unaltered. When SHA-256 takes in any data, it creates a cryptographic hash of that data. The difference between super and supers are dramatic. Changing even one character, adding one space, or any other change creates a completely different hash. And you can't use a hash to get back to the original data, so it's secure. And if me and you hash the exact same data, we will always get the exact same hash. This is how we handle password storage. You give the company your password, they take your password and hash it. They have no idea what your password is. Then when you log in, you provide your password and they hash that and compare it to the hash they have stored. If the hashes match, then you are granted access to the application. Now one might inquire, big Papa code, why should we pay homage to Shah amidst all algorithms? To which I say, whether you're concocting the next magnum opus in software or seeking to build an impregnable digital fortress, understanding Shah, especially the intricacies of Shah 256, is possessing the key to the mightiest of citadels. As our digital odyssey concludes for today, remember, Shaw isn't just techno jargon. It's the keeper of our sacred digital realms, the guardian against chaos in our binary universe. And with that, I bid thee farewell until our paths converge in another chapter of this grand digital saga. Always seek wisdom, fortify your digital dominion, and never cease to explore. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share this with your fellow tech enthusiasts. Until next time, brave coders, keep those brackets in line and may your code be ever bug free. P.S. Be sure to look out for me and my friends on the Deeper Than Code podcast, available everywhere you get your podcasts. Peace.